Welcome to Control M's Getting Started the Accounting Example. In this video, you will see how a typical accounting workspace is organized in Control M with some basic job definitions, prerequisites, actions, and scheduling scenarios. Some jobs need to run daily, such as invoice, revenue, and profits, and other jobs monthly, such as payroll. All jobs need to generate a printout of the processing results. Let's start by opening a blank workspace and then clicking Import. Go to your Control M EM Installation folder and then Default, Samples and Draft. Select Control M EM Job Definition Examples and then click Open. Initially, you will see that the examples are split according to folder EX Daily and EX Emergency. To change them, go into the View tab and then click on Application, which they are then split as to example. You will see that they are now split as to EX Accounting, EX Flights and EX IT Maintenance. Let's take a look at the example EX Accounting. To handle its invoicing needs, the company must process several types of information on a daily basis. In the EX Daily folder, you will see there are four jobs. Calc Expenses calculates the day's expenses. Calc Revenue calculates the day's revenue. Calc Profits calculates the day's profits. And Due Invoices determines which customers should be billed that day. All four jobs generate a printout of the processing results and therefore require an available printer. At the end of every month, the company needs to calculate salaries. In the EX monthly folder, there is one job. Calc Salaries calculates the salaries to be paid to employees for the month just ended. Now, let's take a look at the Calc Expenses job in detail. It is almost identical to the Calc Revenue job, so we will concentrate on this one. In the prerequisites tab, you will see firstly that there are no in conditions defined. To ensure that the printer is available for printing reports, the control resources section indicates that the job requires exclusive control in the printer, in this case, printer 1. The job is not submitted unless the printer is available. This job prints out a report of the expenses data it possesses. In the actions tab, we can see an out condition so that when Calc Expenses ends successfully, it adds an out condition. You can see the order date, which ensures that the condition is added to the system with the original scheduling date of the job. In the Scheduling tab, you will see every day is selected so that Calc Expenses runs daily. Now, let's look on the Calc Profits job. In the Prerequisite tab, we can see two in conditions which ensure that both Calc Revenue and Calc Expenses have ended successfully before this job can run. To ensure that these in conditions are only satisfied by out conditions from the same day, they are assigned a date value of order date. To ensure that both conditions are satisfied, an AND relationship value is selected. Calc Profits runs only after Calc Revenue and Calc Expenses have ended successfully. They can run in any order, but both of these jobs must end successfully before Calc Profits can run. In the Actions tab, we can see that there are three out conditions. After Calc Profits ends successfully, it deletes the Calc Revenue and Calc Expenses jobs. Again, Order Date value is selected so that only the conditions of that date are deleted. If another job has Calc Profits as a predecessor job, after it ends successfully, it adds as an out condition an order date as the date reference. Let's take a look at the due invoices job. This job prints out a list of customers whose invoices have become due. The file name and file path fields identify the file name and location of the batch job. In the scheduling tab, you will see that every day is selected. Finally, Let's look at the Calc Salaries job. The company runs a batch job that calculates the salaries to be paid to employees for the month just ended. After completion, the company can run a job to print the paychecks. 
You can see the following. The file name and file path fields identify the file name and location of the batch job. In the scheduling tab, the job is scheduled to run on the first day of every month. In the time settings area, the job can only be submitted between the hours of 1 and 3 a.m., which ensures that the paycheck printing job which follows has plenty of time to print the paychecks before they are needed. In the prerequisites tab, the in condition contains the EX timesheet submitted job. This condition is actually a manual condition, which means that it is not added by another job and is instead added manually by the authorised manager from accounting only after all timesheets have been submitted. In the actions tab, in the out conditions area, it adds an EX calc salaries OK job in case other jobs depend on this job after the job ends successfully. In the notifications after completion section, this job shouts a message to the appropriate location indicating that the paychecks can now be printed. This now concludes the video. For more information and additional examples, see Job Definition Examples in Getting Started Module 2.